AI predictions for 2023. GPT-4 will be released in the next couple months, and yes, it will be a big deal. Rumors have been flying recently about GPT-4, the next generation of OpenAI's powerful generative language model. Expect GPT-4 to be released early in the new year and to represent a dramatic step change performance improvement relative to GPT-3 and 3.5. As manic as the recent hype around ChatGPT has been, it will be a mere prelude to the public reaction when GPT-4 is released. Buckle up! Perhaps counterintuitively, we predict that it won't be much larger than its predecessor GPT-3. In an influential research paper published earlier this year, DeepMind researchers determined that today's large language models are in fact larger than they should be. For optimal model performance, Given a finite compute budget, today's models should have fewer parameters but train on larger data sets. Training data, in other words, trumps model size. Most of today's leading language models were trained on data corpuses of about 300 billion tokens, including OpenAI's GPT-3. It is possible that GPT-4 will be multimodal, that is, that it will be able to work with images, videos, and other data modalities in addition to text. This would mean, for example, that it could take a text prompt as input and produce an image, like Dolly does, or take a video as input and answer questions about it via text. We are going to start running out of data to train large language models. It has become a cliché to say that data is the new oil. This analogy is fitting in one underappreciated way. Both resources are finite and at risk of being exhausted. The area of AI for which this concern is most pressing is language models. For the first time, some members of the general public will begin using fully driverless cars as their day-to-day -day mode of transportation. After years of premature hype and unfulfilled promises in the field of autonomous vehicles, something has happened recently that surprisingly few people seem to have noticed, truly driverless cars have arrived. Today, as a member of the general public, you could download the Cruise app, it looks just like the Uber or Lyft app and hail a driverless vehicle with no one behind the wheel to take you from point A to point B on the streets of San Francisco. Cruise currently only offers these driverless rides at night between 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., but the company is poised to make the service available 24-7 throughout San Francisco. Expect this to happen within weeks. In 2023, Robotaxi services will rapidly transition from a fascinating novelty to a viable, convenient, even mundane way to get around the city. The number of robot axes on the road and the number of people who use them will surge. In short, autonomous vehicles are about to enter their commercialization and scaling phase. Search will change more in 2023 than it has since Google went mainstream in the early 2000s. Search is the primary means by which we navigate and access digital information. It lies at the heart of the modern internet experience. Today's large language models can read and write with a level of sophistication that a few years ago would have seemed inconceivable. This will have profound implications for how we search. In the wake of ChatGPT, one reconceptualization of search that has gotten a lot of attention is the idea of conversational search. Why enter a query and get back a long list of links? The current Google experience, if you could instead have a dynamic conversation with an AI agent in order to find what you are looking for, efforts to develop humanoid robots will attract considerable attention, funding, and talent. Several new humanoid robot initiatives will launch. The humanoid robot is perhaps the definitive symbol of Hollywood's exaggerated, dramatized depiction of artificial intelligence, think ex machina or I, robot. Well, humanoid robots are fast becoming a reality. Why build robots shaped like humans? For the simple reason that we have architected much of the physical world for humans. If we plan to use robots to automate complex activities in the world, in factories, shopping malls, offices, schools, the most effective approach is often for those robots to have the same form factor as the humans that would otherwise be completing those activities. This way, robots can be deployed in diverse settings with no need for the surrounding environment to be adapted. Tesla has catalyzed the field of humanoid robotics this year with the launch of its Optimus robot, which debuted at the company's AI Day in September. Elon Musk has said that he believes the Optimus robot will eventually be worth more to Tesla than its entire car business. Tesla's robot still has a long way to go before it is ready for prime time, but don't underestimate the rapid progress that the company is capable of when it devotes its full resources to the task. The number of research projects that build on or cite AlphaFold will surge. 
DeepMind's AlphaFold platform, first announced in late 2020, solved one of life's great mysteries, the protein folding problem. AlphaFold is able to accurately predict the three-dimensional shape of a protein based solely on its one-dimensional amino acid sequence, a landmark achievement that had eluded human researchers for decades. We have previously argued in this column that AlphaFold represents the single most important achievement in the history of artificial intelligence. DeepMind, Google Brain, and or OpenAI will undertake efforts to build a foundation model for robotics. The term foundation model, introduced last year by a team of Stanford researchers, refers to a massive AI model trained on broad swaths of data that, rather than being built for a specific task, can perform effectively on a wide range of different activities. Foundation models have been a key driver of recent progress in AI. Today's foundation models are breathtakingly powerful. But whether they are text-generating models like GPT-3 or text-to-image models like Stable Diffusion or models for computer actions like ADEPT, they operate exclusively in the digital realm. AI systems that act in the real world, example, autonomous vehicles, warehouse robots, drones, humanoid robots, have so far remained mostly untouched by the new foundation model paradigm.